Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make the background that I made for my computer. And yes, I did make it. I did about four steps and it is so easy to do. So let's go ahead and open up our Photoshop. Now this was done in Photoshop CS3. Um, but I don't have that installed. I have it on my flash drive. I have the executable file on my flash drive. Uh, so I haven't tried it in CS4 yet. So go up to File New and put in your screen resolution. Mine, as everybody should know, is 1440 by 900. Give that a second to load there. All right. So what we want to do is create a gradient. These can be any colors, uh, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. So just go down here and click new and then go to the last one. And right here, this is going to want to be your darkest color. If you're doing light to dark, then it's going to want to be the lightest. But you really want to intentionally do dark to light for this sort of thing just because it gives it a better taste. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and pick some random colors. I love blue. don't know if you guys knew that, but I'm going to do light blue, and maybe I'll add a little color right here. And, you know, let's just try black. Whoops. Don't know what I did there. But yeah, let's just try black for this one. Try to even it out as much as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, try to get each color as even as you can. And um, go ahead and push down Shift and just draw a straight line. Let that load. Now you're thinking, ew. I'm thinking that too, um, but it'll get better. And you don't have to use these colors. I'm just using these for this tutorial. Normally, I'd pick better colors than this. So just go to Filter, Distort, and go down to Wave. And this automatically does it for me. These are the same exact settings as I had in CS3, and it might be yours by default. Now it says Type. It'll be sign, go down to square. Then settings will be in the description. Go down to square, and now it looks really funky. Well, we're about to fix that. Go ahead and go down to the bottom palette, make a new layer, and then go back to your background layer. And then go up to filter, go to render, and go to different clouds. Now this will just create some weird wonky effect and you can do it over and over and over to get different kind of clouds. Um, and then go to this layer here and go to filter, render, clouds. Now the layer before this, um, the whatever happens depends on the gradient that you used. Um, the lighter to darker to lighter colors you go, it'll get a wonky reddish kind of color like this. If it will load. I feel load. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, you'll get, typically, you'll get a little bit of your color gradient in there. See, I had black and white and I had blue. Didn't have any red in there, but you know, and on the top layer that you created, go ahead and change the opacity to about 50. And you can actually play with this. I'm going to put mine at about mm, 11. So basically, that's all you have to do. This is a poorly done example. Um, but just play around with it. Pick your favorite colors and the greens. You can have as many colors as you want. You don't have to have three. Pick your favorite colors that you like, and uh, when you're done with that, just shift and then click that. And right click, click Merge Visible. 
go ahead and save it wherever you want. Go to File, Save As. Uh, you can save it for the web, but I just go to File, Save As. And uh, save it to your desktop or wherever you want. And go ahead and pick PNG. And what I would do is I would save it as a PSD first so you can go back and edit it later. Um, save as whatever you want. I'm going to save mine as wonky BG. And just give that time to save itself. And when the ping options come up as interlace, go ahead and keep it selected as none. Just click OK. OK, cool. Now what you're going to want to do is minimize, right click, go to properties. This is on XP by the way. This you have to go to right click, personalize, and then desktop background. Um, go ahead and go to appearance. Oh, I'm sorry, not appearance, desktop. And then click browse. And then just find your background that you just made, wherever you saved it. Go ahead and open that. Click apply and OK. And that actually looks a little bit better than the background I had before. It does kind of go with my theme. I think I'm actually going to keep it this way. But uh, that, that's basically it. Just a little quick two minute uh, image that you can make for your background. And if you'd like to post yours in the comment section, go right ahead. I will rate it for you if you wish. If not, that's perfectly okay. I'll give you some feedback. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my tutorials, and I'll see you next time.